it was mad because especially in the winter because we had uh, two shows sometimes three in each cabaret and sometimes we had three venues a night they were all very close to each other but we had to put our coats in the shandos and run into Casa Antonio and then again put the coats and very very quickly going to the Costa Brava One very good restaurant was the Casa Pepe. It was quite famous because it had a very large uh, sign outside, electric sign, lit up sign, and it showed a man pouring wine, trickling down his forehead over his nose, and he was drinking it out of a pour on. And that was the old man Pepe's favorite trick. The immigrants were the ones who started going to flamenco. Plus, of course, there were English people, which they used to go on holidays, and they love flamenco, so they used to come. So the public started developing the flavor for, for flamenco. It was a community and other places, any Spanish bar, uh, La Gitana, I think there were, there were several, and of course uh, us being groupies, we would go there because we would get excited, you know, that we're going to see some Spanish dancers, like dancing in a, a little tiny floor. So you can imagine a small room with maybe about 40, 50 people in it, all clapping, singing, talking, playing guitar, discussing, joking in a small atmosphere, then I think you've got an idea of what, <laughs> what it was like.